Hey guys, welcome back. So today's just gonna be a little vlog. You're gonna have to excuse the hot mess that's going on here because I am so tired. I have not been sleeping very well the last couple of days. I don't know what it is. And then last night, I don't think I fell asleep until about 1 a.m. And then when I did fall asleep, I was having nightmares about like lizards and snakes. And I think even an echidna was there, like coming into my house, like through cracks and crevices and stuff. And it was just a very stressful night. <laughs> Um, so not feeling the greatest today. I need to wash my hair, but, um, I wanted to show you, I've been sanding the table. Um, it's not done. I've still got to do around the edges here and the feet of the table are still nowhere near that. I've done the other side, but not this side. So still a bit of work to go. Um, but I was going to show you an update. I love how it's turning out. I love the color of that is on the top. There are a lot of knots on here, like in a line, which is a bit, a bit annoying. I prefer it to be a little bit more higgledy piggledy. Um, and there are a lot more knots than I sort of remember there being on the table, but, um, I really like the color that it's turned out. I don't have a top coat on it of any kind or even a wax. It's going to change the color a little bit, but I can't obviously leave it just raw because it's the dining table. And if it gets anything on it, it's going to, you know, compromise the integrity of the table. But a friend of mine was saying, why don't I just get a piece of glass cut for the top? And I'm thinking that's not a bad idea. I'm going to keep thinking about it. Um, yeah, because obviously I'm not done sanding, so I've still got some time to do that. I've also had the wall art for this room and the living room come in. I haven't opened it up and had a look yet, so I thought I'd do that on camera together with you. Then I can put that in frames and see how it looks on the wall. That's very exciting. I started putting up Easter decorations. I don't know if I'm going to show you yet or if I'm just going to do a whole house to a reveal type thing. We'll see, we'll see how the day goes. But let's open up this wall art, I'm very excited. So in case you missed my last video, um, I ordered these prints off of Etsy and then I got them printed. Um, I think the company is called, I'm pretty sure it's called Brilliant Prints. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, I just found them really reasonably priced. I did pay for express shipping because I was a bit impatient, um, which I don't think was very extensive either. And it got here, I'm pretty, so we had a public holiday on Monday, um, so yesterday, no, the day before. And I'm sure I ordered these on the Friday and they arrived on Tuesday. So but that was quite good. Like I got, they got printed and sent out in the post very quickly. Um, I have had some prints through these guys before, but they were um, the one in the front living room, which is just like a, a typography kind of print. So there's no color or anything in it. So um, I suppose that's quite a simple thing to do. Whereas this, these have colors. So I'm very interested to see how the quality of the printing, if I can ever get it open. <laughs> going up in this room. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. The quality is really good. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. And then these are the, this is the set that I got for in the living room. And I quite like these as well. So it's this one and that one. I'm not sure which way around they're going to go, but with the two of them are there. And again, Quality is really, really nice. I definitely recommend these guys. And the color is very true, very true to what um, it looked like on the computer. So that's really good news. <gasps> Yay, I'm gonna put it in a frame. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. If you missed my last video, the frame that I'm using is from Kmart, and it is the poster frame, the A1 poster frame. Um, pretty sure it was like $20, and I've used this one before 
in my bedroom. I've got two of these in uh, master bedroom. I really like them. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. The um the glass in the frame isn't glass by any means. It's just perfect, so that's just something to take into account. Um, it just means that you get a bit of the like you can see. I don't know what the word is, but like the wobble of the perspex up on the wall sometimes. Um, I'll show you what I mean when I've actually got it up. And that actually fits perfectly. The other reason I really like um, Brilliant Prints is because they do custom sizes. I was going to go just with Office Works because we have one local to us, um, but they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't let me do a custom size or it was really expensive. I can't remember. Um, just went... So that was something I really liked about, yeah, the printing company that I should be trying something new, but now my body's sick. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark. It's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone and I'm just singing. Mm, mm, mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place. I just know mm, mm, it could have been. Shame to let go. There it is. I love it. I'm pretty sure, though, I'm going to have to drill some holes. Yeah. Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. Driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how much I needed you. Mm -hmm. It should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. So that is how the one in the dining room has turned out. I'm thinking I might change out this, oh, I chipped my nail while I was doing that. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I might change out this table behind here. There's a cute one at Target that I think will match the frame and the wood of this table really well. So I'll keep an eye on that and see how we go. And then, and these are the frames for the living room. So really like how these ended up looking. I love the color. I love the color with the frame as well. Um, I think they're really, really cute. Really loving that vibe. So I'm due to pick Owen up from school in about half an hour, but um, Joe has asked if I'll go grab him some lunch. He wants some sushi for lunch and he's in the area, like in the local area today for um, work. So I said I'd go grab it for him. I should have the perfect amount of time to do that, drop it off and then go get Owen. He does a half day today. So he only goes to school um, for a couple hours in the morning. Then I go pick him up. We bring him home, have a couple hours together and then, um, Go back and get Taylor. It's always a bit of a crazy day today and I'm pretty sure my dad's organized a new car battery for the car. Um, a couple of days ago, it the car just wouldn't start. Um, we jump started it and it hasn't had a problem since, but he reckoned we should get um, the battery changed before there's a problem. Um, so pretty sure I'm gonna go pick that up this afternoon. He said to give me a call when it arrives um, and he'll install it for me. But I'm gonna go find some sushi. So I just went to get the sushi and everything. While I was there, I popped into Woolies and just grabbed a couple of things that we needed. And then I remembered that I had like a bonus offer thing on my um, Everyday Rewards card for, um, if, you bought, if you bought anything at BWS until Sunday, um, they would top up your Everyday Rewards points so you would get a thousand Qantas points. 
as complicated as that sounds. Um, so I was like, oh, I'll just pop in and just grab a bottle of wine because I'll need that at some point in the future. And um, they didn't even ask me for ID. <laughs> so <laughs> I must be looking my age today. They, um, they usually like pretty much always I always get asked for ID still even though I'm nearly 33 <laughs> I still always get asked for ID um except today when obviously I'm not looking my best <laughs> I just thought that was hilarious um but yeah I'm parked at Owen's school just waiting I'm a few minutes early as, as it turns out um so just waiting until it gets a bit closer to look at that monkeyness um just waiting until it gets a little bit closer to the time they let them go um, and then I'll head in there. So this is the messy living room. <laughs> I was been playing this afternoon. Um, but this is where these pictures are going to go. Um, obviously I'm going to actually pop them on the wall, but I just put them there for now to see what the spacing looks like. Um, yeah, I think they look really good. I love them. And as a side note, the reason I was having my bad dreams last night is because on Monday night, you can see the split system up here. We've taped it all closed. <laughs> on Monday night, I was sitting here. Joe was over here. We were watching um, Survivor and Billy the cat, our cat, she came and jumped up and she was like looking at the air conditioner and I was like, oh, what's that? So Joe muted the show and um, I could hear this scratching in in there. And then, um, you know, so I sort of looked up and assumed we've had lizards fall out of here before, right? Like gecko, oh, horrible. Um, but this little side here, there's a tiny, well, not tiny, but like a little hole like that size here. I looked up and something stuck its head out. I thought it looked like a lizard. Joey thought it looked like a mouse. I don't know. I just ran and <laughs> it stuck its head back and it couldn't get through. So it probably makes more sense that it might have been a mouse because um, it would have been able to fit through, I think, if it was a lizard. But freaked me out so much. Um, so we taped it all shut. We taped the vent shut as well in case I wanted to try and push the vent and get out. But um, it's actually broken at the moment anyway. It needs to be repaired so we're not using it i'm thinking when because this is the third time now that some kind of creature has been inside this split system this particular unit um on the other side of this wall there's sort of just a really narrow pathway and then um like laneway and then it's just bush again so i'm thinking they just come straight out of the bush and into the outside unit i'm going to ask whoever comes to fix it if there's obviously some way that they're getting into this unit if they can put some mesh or something over there so it stops them from getting in as easily because i just don't like things falling out of the air conditioner onto the couch it's terrifying like i think you would agree with me anyone like regardless of if it's a harmless creature or not still terrifying if you're sitting on the couch and something just falls on your head I've done most of my sanding now on the table. Um, there's still a little, few little white bits down underneath um, on the legs, which I'm going to have to get a paint stripper to do that because I can't, or some other tool. Nothing that I've got at home here now can get into the crevices to get the paint out of there. So we'll see. Um, I just put the chairs back. Obviously, I'm going to need new chairs because the um, the if I keep it this color anyway, because the the grey and the brown it doesn't just does not go together at all but i do like how the table goes with the frame i already said i'm thinking i might switch that out really just depends on how i keep this table but yeah that's what it's looking like at the moment this box as well down here this has got a new light fixture for up here i've had it for like oh my god probably close to a year maybe not quite that long but you know a good six months has been sitting here just waiting to be installed you get an electrician to come in and do that but i've had my priorities i think i got it on sale that's why i've sort of bought it at the time um, knowing that I probably wasn't going to be able to get it. But um, it will go up here. It's just one big round glass. I can't even get it out really to show you because of the way it's packed up. But um, it's like a pendant. Um, I don't know. It's not even a pendant. I'll try and set a photo of it from the website. Um, and then you can see what it's going to look like. But it's, yeah, much different to this one. Um, but, yeah, it's coming along. It should have been you.